In car sale news, the state of Delaware has decided that Tesla can sell direct to consumer in its state. So Tesla has had this battle in many different states because different states have put in place what basically is protectionism for car dealerships that effectively prevent car dealerships from being owned by the manufacturer. They have to be independent. So in most states, the car dealership is a legally distinct entity from the car manufacturer. Well, what if the car manufacturer wants to sell to consumer directly? In many states, they can't do that. The state of Delaware had recently been like this, but the state Supreme Court overturned this decision, allowing Tesla to sell direct to consumer. So that's nice. Consumers have more choice when it comes to cars. Let's learn more. The state Supreme Court overturned a judge's ruling that had upheld a decision by state officials to prohibit Tesla from selling its cars direct. They would have had to use a dealer that was independent of them, like many states, but no, not so much. Now, in a ruling last year, the lower judge had determined that Delaware's Motor Vehicle Franchise Practices Act prohibited Tesla from selling direct. So yes, Delaware, like many states, has this kind of law. You can't sell direct. You have to use an intermediary, which is great for the intermediaries, not so great for the manufacturer. It's like we'd like to sell direct, save, save ourselves. We can't do it in some states. In some states, you can. And Delaware said, okay, not so much. The state Supreme Court reversed the decision and sent the case back down, noting that the Franchise Act was enacted to address the disparity in bargaining power that permitted automobile manufacturers to exert economic pressure on franchisees. The justices said the law's definition exclude Tesla because the company is selling without using independent franchise dealers. So this was enacted apparently to prevent the, to create a barrier that would prevent manufacturers from unduly influencing the, uh, the, the selling, but you know, of course, it was pretty influenced anyway. So the whole thing was just a protectionism measure. The Chief Justice of Delaware wrote, it bears repeating that the Franchise Act regulates a business relationship between a manufacturer and a dealer. Adding nothing in the law supports the DMV's interpretation that it's intended to prohibit a direct sales model. So this just came down to a question of how Delaware state law was written. Not more fundamental than that, right? It's not a fundamental, this is unconstitutional. It's just, you didn't write the statute the right way. So maybe they will change the way the statute is written. We'll see. The court ruling of court notes that Tesla has fought this battle in several other states. Tesla filed an application with Delaware for a dealer's license. The DMV subsequently permitted Tesla to open a gallery. The gallery allowed customers to view vehicles, but not to buy them. So they're allowed to show people, but they couldn't sell them which is kind of dumb. So then they submitted a second application for a dealer's license. The DMV Chief of Compliance denied it, noting that Delaware's Act for Automobile Dealers requires an applicant comply with state law. The DMV official said Tesla's application did not comply because the Franchise Act prohibited a vehicle manufacturer from directly or indirectly owning an interest in a dealership or acting as a dealer. So again, this is pretty typical of many states. You can't do it directly. You can't do it indirectly. You can't get around this by creating a shell company. You have to use a truly independent dealer. You can't own an interest in the dealer. Despite determining that Tesla as direct-to-consumer sales model did not meet the definition of a new motor vehicle dealer under the relevant law because of how Tesla does this, the official concluded that Tesla was still a manufacturer under the law. An administrative hearing officer also agreed. Tesla then appealed to court, where it lost. The judge ruling that Tesla, even though it agreed the business model was likely not contemplated by the law, was nevertheless banned because the term vehicle that had been sold to a dealer should apply to Tesla. But the state Supreme Court disagrees on the technical aspects of how the law is written. So not so much because the law rules that they are not a new motor vehicle dealer within the context of this particular law.
So it comes down on the eccentricities of how Delaware law is written. Thus, that brings us to the end of this decision by the state Supreme Court of Delaware, which rules that Tesla can sell direct to consumer. And of course, Delaware is relatively near many other states like Connecticut and New York and New Jersey. It's not that far of a hop from major hubs, for example. So the citizens of other states might now want to purchase Teslas directly from Delaware because it's relatively convenient. So this will helpfully influence the entire region. And Delaware rules that this is an, a matter of state law and that the way it was written, this did not contemplate Tesla. So maybe the state will amend its law, perhaps under pressure from other states, or maybe they won't. We'll see how it goes. At least for the moment, that brings us to the end of discussion of this case.